Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? All right, all right, calm down. Look, it's not that bad. You're not that ugly. And what, what, you, what you are, I ain't gonna lie, you are ugly. Well, we just got our first look at the new She-Hulk series coming out on Disney+, Plus, and I think it looks, um, how do I put this nicely? What do you say, Toby? The truth. Looks like shit. That's why I love children, no guile. <laughs> it does look like shit. I remember reading a story about She-Hulk where she became ill with some terminal disease, and in order to save her life, Bruce Banner gave her some of his blood. Afterward, her life was saved, but at the cost of her permanently becoming She-Hulk, and unlike Bruce, unable to return to regular human size. Now, I don't know if that story is canon in the comics, or if I just pulled that out of some dark nether region between my butt cheeks, but suffice it to say, I don't know a lot about this character. Now, for me, that's just fine, and I'll be able to approach the show without any preconceived ideas of what I should be watching, but maybe not so much for the more seasoned comic book fans. Since this is a Marvel character that's based off of a hero that's been around for years in the comics, you can understand there's a certain expectation from fans for the showrunners to at least show a modicum of respect for the original source material, and since this is Hollywood and Disney, well, we all know they're going to respect and pay homage to the original character from the comics. We all know they're going to make character development and a well-written story their chief priority without sacrificing either one for corrupt political messages or hand-fisted propaganda. We all know that Disney cares deeply for the fanbase and would never use an existing IP as nothing more than a shallow cash grab, right? Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Ah, let's face it guys, this is gonna suck. If for nothing else than the CGI. I didn't think CGI would be that big of a deal when contributing to the overall finished product. I mean, just look at some of the older movies with horrible effects, but they still hold up today because they're great stories. But when it's so bad that you can't even focus on the story, I can't be the only one who thinks this is a problem. I mean, just look at this. If it was a smaller studio, I'd give it a pass, but this is Disney. It looks like they brought in their Pixar team and said, Hey, what you guys did with Shrek? Yeah, just do that here. So aside from looking like Shrek 4, now Fiona's a whore, what are the other reasons it's really going to suck? Well, the trailer was overall boring, it didn't really show any action, whatever jokes there were didn't land, but I suppose if I had to pick one thing, it would be this scene right here. Oh, should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. This isn't stuck nonchalantly in the middle of the preview, but it's tagged on the end of all the buildup that came before. The lasting image in our minds of what the show will be like. And you may think, what was wrong with the scene? Wasn't it funny? Wasn't it funny when the god of mischief gets kicked in the balls a thousand times over by Lady Sif? Wasn't it funny when the female therapist made Bucky and Sam look into one another's eyes while sitting with their legs intertwined? Or how about when Valkyrie zaps Thor again and again? Or Captain Marvel dragging away Jude Law's character, whose name I don't even think was mentioned in the movie? The answer is no. It's not that this type of humor is necessarily bad in and of itself, but it's just been so overused that at this point it's becoming obnoxious. Man is dumb and weak. Woman stunning and brave. The worst part is that this type of comedy isn't even intended to make people laugh, but is instead used as a political tool to promote feminist ideologies. In the tiny minds of the progressive left, the only way to build up a woman is to tear down men. Most people know that's bullshit, and so instead of coming right out and saying it, they have to hijack pop culture and sneak in their twisted worldviews like a Trojan horse within the walls of the entertainment industry. But, my dear viewer, perhaps you'd like to ask me, hey, why don't you just wait for it to come out? I mean, you can't judge something before you've even seen it, right? And to that, my future subscriber, I would like to respond with an analogy. It's like going to a restaurant and ordering the fish, only to find that it made you destroy your toilet later on that night. But you say to yourself, well, maybe it was just the fish. The next day, you go back to the same restaurant and order the steak, and yet again explode out your back end. And you say to yourself, well, I guess the steak was bad too. 
After going back to the same restaurant again and again, ordering the chicken, lamb, pasta, and everything else, only to find that each dish forces you to spend your evenings spewing out of both ends, at some point you have to recognize that it's not just the individual food items that you've ordered that are bad, but the entire restaurant itself. In this analogy, Disney and really all of Hollywood is the restaurant, and all of this stuff is shit. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and have a great freaking day.